Hello, my loves. Here's Nana with another book, and it's a good one. I'm going to read, oh, the glare is terrible, The Giant Jam Sandwich. Story and pictures by John Fernan, Vernon Lord with verses by Janet Burroway. I used to read this book to my oldest daughter, and she loved it. I would read it most every night. There were a couple others that she loved, and I've actually found those again. So I'm going to read those next. But this one, all three of my girls loved it. So let's see why. One hot summer in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. Now, let me just tell you, that is a lot of wasp. Look at that. Look at all of those wasp. Whew. They drove the picnickers away. They chased the farmers from their hay. They stung Lord Sewell on his fat pate. They dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. Poor old picnickers had to go. Them wasps were after their food. And the farmers, they were after the, the honey and the tassel of the wheat. Look at that. And they're chasing them out. And look at here. Poor old Mr. Sewell got stung right on the top of his fat bald head. That's what fat bald pate means. And there's those wasps. Buzzing and buzzing and eating. Everything in sight. And the noisy, nasty nuisance grew till the villagers cried, What can we do? <laughs> poor old villagers, look at them. They're just everywhere. Oh, my goodness. This poor guy's not got his shoes on. He's going to step on. He's going to get stung. And look at this Mr. Sewell. Look at him. He's trying to spray them and get rid of them. And this guy's trying to catch them in a butterfly net. <sighs> my advice is leave him alone. So they called a meeting in the village hall, and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, What can we do? And they said, Good question. But nobody had a good suggestion. They all agreed, We got to do something. They're having a meeting about it. Look at that. Look at the looks on the people in the audience's face. They're just... They're perplexed. Do you know what perplexed means? My goodness, they don't know what to do. Then Bap, the baker, leapt to his feet and cried, What do wasp like best to eat? Strawberry jam. Now, wait a minute. If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them all in it. The gentlemen cheered and the ladies squealed. And Farmer Seed said, You can use my field. <laughs> they are really, there's, there's Mr. Bap the baker. He's come up with the idea for the giant jam sandwich. And the ladies, they loving it. Look at this. And, and look at this. The men are all like, yeah, okay. And there's the farmer. He says, you can use my field. Look at that hat that lady's got on. And look what's buzzing around those flowers. They don't know they're not real flowers, do they? Poor old wasp. They're hungry. Bap gave instructions for the making of the dough. Mix flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside, water from the spout. Now thump it, bump it, and bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more made a tablecloth out in the yard. Mmm. Here they are. They're mixing up all the dough. Look at that. My goodness. Look at that. They're mixing it all up. Getting ready. They get, woo, they're they going to make a big old sandwich, aren't they? And look at here. Here they are. They're working and working and working. And some of the other ladies are over there sewing up a pretty tablecloth. See her right there? That lady's sewing up a pretty tablecloth. Oh, my goodness. What next? When they were done, the dough was left to rise. 
till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. They hitched it up with a bit of a fuss to tractors, cars, and the village bus. They took it to the oven they had made on the hill. Fifty cookers in an old brick mill. You know, it would take some kind of big old oven to cook a loaf. Look at that loaf of bread. That's going to take a massive big oven, isn't it? Look at that. And they're towing it with the tractors and the village bus and all the cars. And there's the mill right there. And they're going to put it in there and they're going to turn on all those ovens. See all the ovens along the wall right there, right there? See all the ovens there? They're going to turn all those ovens on and get it up 350 degrees. And they're going to cook that loaf of bread. For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the window shook. It was piping hot when they at last took it out, and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Yippee! Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. They were giving them fits while they were trying to cook the bread. Look at that. The bread's coming out of the mill building, all toasty and brown. Yum. Nothing smells better than bread bacon. Oh, my goodness, yes. And there's the mayor, and there's, oh, oh, they're fighting those old wasps. They're still just buzzing around everywhere. See all of them? Look at my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Let's see what happens. The loaf was left to cool, and then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw and sliced it right through. Everybody clapped, and then they cut slice number two. You need two pieces of bread for a sandwich, you know. See there? They're cutting it thin, too. Look at that. They'll be able to feed the rest of the town for two or three years with all that bread, won't they? Look at all that bread. And there's the, the sandwich, one half of the bread on the wagon. Mm -hmm. And the wasp are buzzing around. They're curious too. I don't know what are we doing here. This looks like it might be a good thing. The village bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. See those beautiful horses pulling. There they are. See them? They're pulling the. Pulling the wagon that's got the loaf of bread slice on it. Look at that. And the wasp are following them. See there? They see what they're doing. They're like, mmm, this might be good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A truck drew up and dumped out butter. And they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades, slap and slam. They did the same with the strawberry jam. Hmm. Butter? Never thought about that. Might have to try that one day. There's the the people coming to help sl slather the, the butter on. See, they even got a tractor on there, and they're spreading the butter around. Look at that. Now they're dumping the strawberry jam on. See there? There's the strawberry jam right there in the big old dump truck. They're dumping it on there, getting ready to slather it out over the butter there. But you know what? These guys in the middle... They're going to have a little bit of a problem because they're boxing themselves in. They're going to have to walk through that jam to get out of that sandwich. Let's see what happens. Meanwhile, high above the field, six flying machines whirred and wheeled, ready for the wasp to take the bait. And then there was nothing to do but wait. Mm. Look at this. They're using some... Helicopters. Look at that. To bring the slice, the last slice of bread, and they're going to lay it down on top of the other one with the jam and the butter on it. Yum, 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 yum. And then they got a flying tractor. Look at that. Look at that. Makes you think of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Wonder if there's a story about that flying tractor. We'll have to check that out. So now they wait to see what happens. Suddenly, the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. They smelled that jam. They dived in and struck. 
and they ate so much that they all got stuck. The other slice came down, curse splat, on top of the wasp, and that was that. There were only three that got away, and where they are now, I cannot say. <laughs> there they are, diving into that sandwich. Oh, boy, look at that. Yay! Bum! Look at that. They dropped the other slice of bread right, curse splat, right down onto them because the ones that squeezed out the sides, they're stuck in the jam. They can't go nowhere. Poor old waspies. <laughs> Look at all that. My goodness. Oh, now we got balloons on the on the tractor and a and a um <laughs> whirly bird top. Look at that. That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens. But they never came back to Itching Down, which is not a waspish sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the villagers did that day. Can't say as a blame them, can you? All dancing and celebrating. Look at the bands playing, and folks are listening to the music, and they're celebrating. And look over here. Oh, my goodness. They're all dancing to the beautiful music. Look. And look up here in the background. The birds are flying away with the jam sandwich. And the wasp is inside. Oh, my. Look at all that. <laughs> flying away with it. Mm -hmm. They're going to have them. Birds are going to have themselves a fine old meal. And what became of the sandwich? Well, in itching down, they like to tell how the birds flew off with it in their beaks and had a feast for a few hundred weeks. See there? There they go. <laughs> Those birds are going to eat good. Boy, they're going to eat good. Now, that was a fun story. And you can tell why uh, the girls loved this story when they were little because it rhymes and it's a silly story and it's fun. Fairy tales are fun. Tall tales are fun. You know what a tall tale is? A tall tale is where a story that may have started with a wasp in the kitchen of somebody's house and they got after it with a fly swatter and somebody decided to come up with this crazy story. That's a tall tale. Not a lie. It's just a tall tale just to make you smile. Funny. I enjoyed it. Wasps. Now, wasps are insects. They fly. They gather bugs. They're meat eaters for the most part. And they eat other bugs. They sting. It hurts. But they won't bother you if you don't bother them. So don't be afraid of them. Just steer clear of them. And, you know, if you see a wasp nest, don't mess with it. It's not fun. <laughs> I can tell you that. Anyway, next time I'm going to read you another story that I used to read to the girls when they were little. And this one is called Stand Back said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. And it's hysterical. <laughs> I used to laugh when I would read this because it is so funny. And the pictures are awesome. You're going to love them. I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope you come back and listen to more stories because Nana loves to read. And she loves to share stories. So come back to visit me. And my girls, time to go night-night. I love you. I love you all. Bye-bye.